Vanessa Dion, and every Wednesday we check our spiritual vitals, and I want this opportunity to be here to help us all feed each other's mind, body, and soul, and the goal every single Wednesday is for everyone to leave with a new perspective. You know, we're all aiming to be the same, sorry, not the same, <laughs> we're all aiming to be the best versions of ourselves, so you know, let's do that together. Uh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you God for a new day. Thank you, God, for life, health, and strength. Thank you, God, for being all that you are, God. Thank you for being so patient with us. Thank you for being so understanding of us. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for new possibilities today. Thank you for new joy today. Thank you for new peace today. Thank you for allowing me this this space and this new time in order to be the best version of me today. Um, thank you for flowing through me today. Thank you for flowing through everybody listening today. Um, thank you for being consistent in our lives. Thank you, God, for who you are. Thank you for your love. Thank you, God. Thank you. Um, please forgive us for anything wrong we may have said, done um, to anyone, to ourselves, or to you, God. Please help us to do better. Please help us to be better. Please help us to, um, you know, see those parts of ourselves that need growth and need change and need more of you. Um, and help us to, you know, apply that into our lives, God. Today, I, I pray and ask you for you to remove me out of the way so you can speak to your people god i pray that you flow through me to bless somebody's life um i pray for renewal i pray for more blessings i pray for more love i pray for more joy i pray for that organic peace that comes from you um i thank you i thank you god in advance for everything you're about to do in our lives i thank you god for um yeah everything that you are i just thank you god in in it in advance for everything you have in store for us and everything you have in store for this um episode so yeah i pray that in jesus name i pray amen so today is a new day we are in the middle of the week and we're already halfway through the week and i want to thank god for allowing us to see this far um and this morning i have four affirmations i'm going to read them and i want everyone to either repeat them to yourself or you can write them down as we go but when you say them i want you to say them to yourself with expectancy and really believing in every single word that you say so here are the affirmations the first one is god loves me the second one is god is working in my life The third one is, I love life and life loves me back. And the fourth one is, I will make it. So like I said, I want us to really believe in these affirmations. Positive thinking can really shift any situation we may find ourselves in. It's all about perspective. It's all about how we see our situation. So I want us to say these affirmations one more time. And I want us to really, really, really believe in every single word that we say. You know, if you have to say them out loud to yourself, that's fine. If you have to write them down, that's cool too. And then after we read them, I want us all to take a deep breath and accept them. So again, the first one is God loves me. The second one is God is working in my life. The third one is I love life and life loves me back. And the fourth one is I will make it. And let's, let's take a deep breath in and let it out. Okay, so this morning where I want to start at is I want to start off with encouraging everyone that nobody is you. No one. Nobody can be you. You are one of one. You are the only you that there is on this earth. The only you that there is in life and period, like in time and it's like there's just only one of you. No one is no one is you when there's so much power in that, so much. You know, you're made so unique. Your own gifts, your own mindset, your own personality, your own way of sharing love, you know, your own way of understanding. You know, you are you, and no one can beat you being you. So if you have that, that I don't know, like, just walk in the fullness of who you are, or try to every single day just trying to stay in your lane focus on you and be you because nobody can beat you being who you are nobody 
you know, sometimes we can compare ourselves to other people or sometimes we can look at the next person and compare what they're doing versus what we're doing. But if we were to stay in our lane and just focus on ourselves and, and try to walk in the fullness of we are, we can reach heights. We can, you know what I'm saying? Like have that organic joy, that, that peace that nobody else can shake or break. You know what I'm saying? Because we are, we are, you know what I'm saying? Feeling all of ourselves, if that makes sense. Like, you know, I just want to bring light on the fact that, you know, we came in this world alone and we're going to leave out of this world alone. So we can only account for ourselves. You know, we can only say what we did with our own life and how we lived our own life. You know, that's kind of what I'm trying to get at is that you, there's only one of you and there's only, there was only one of you that came on this earth that was birthed through the, in this earth. And there was, there's only going to be one you that leaves this earth. Like, I just want to put emphasis on the fact that there's only one you, one you, one you, like there's only one you. So I just want to encourage everybody to walk in the fullness of who you are to the best of your ability. Um, you know, yeah. how did you live your life? Did you live your life to the fullest? Did you live your life in, in wholeness of what God has for you? Did you stay focused on, um, you know, your own path and not be so worried about critiquing the next or trying to compare yourself to the next when everybody has their own life? And something else I want to kind of hit on that kind of like goes in this area is that um, sometimes we can compare ourselves to other people or compare ourselves to to the next or celebrities or um you know, social media influencers or just regular people in life. Like you may come across somebody that even like spiritually, like, oh, I want to be like that, that, that preacher or that evangelist or that person of God. Like we can even compare ourselves there. Or how can I pray like them? How can I talk like them? How can I be like them? But we don't know the ins and outs of anybody else's life. We don't know what they had to do to get there, to look like that, to to be like that, to come off like that. You know what I'm saying? So we don't even know if they're even that perfect person that we're thinking that they are. So I just kind of want to say to take people off pedestals in your life and just look at everybody as everybody, you know, just people that are living their life and just focus on living yours. You know what I mean? Because I just kind of want to put emphasis on the fact that we don't know what other people had to do to look the way that they look or to be how, you know, to, to come off as how they're coming off, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't know the ins and outs of anybody's life. So yes, we can be inspired by others. Yes, we can, you know, look at other people like, you know, just an inspiration, but don't ever, well, I don't say don't ever, because sometimes, you know, we can, but, you know, don't try not to compare yourself to the next or, you know, I should be doing this or I should be doing that just because we see the next person with it. Um, Because yeah, we don't know the ins and outs of anybody's life, but we know the ins and outs of our own. So like I said, we came in this world alone, we're going to die alone. So focus on you because that's the only thing you can account for is how you lived your life and what you did. When we're standing in front of God, he's not going to talk about anybody else's life but yours. How did you live your life? What did you do with your life? So, you know, just that's what I just want to say. There's only one you. just want to encourage everybody to be your unique self and walk in the fullness because we do have a ticking clock. We do. We have a ticking clock. And we never know when that time is up. So let's try to every single day focus on becoming better than the last day and focus on walking in the fullness of who you are. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about as far as that. And I'm just going to jump into our message for today. Um, I have a couple scriptures that I want to read. I'll probably read the first one now and then the first one a little later into our message. But um, I want to talk about what do I mean by life begins with you? Um. Yeah, because I have that on my Instagram page. I have it on my website and it's in my journal, my planners. Also, you can pre-order my planner now at www.ventbreak.com if you're interested in buying one. But yeah, so um, I talk about life begins with you and I just want to go into depth of what that means because um, if we're looking at it in a believer of Jesus Christ sense, um, well, I want to start off with saying that like my mom and has already kind of shared with me and I've even received this revelation too on my own that, um, I want to bring people to God, to Jesus, to Christ in a different way that is not really necessary, necessarily traditional. I want to put that out there too, that I feel like I have a gift of shedding light on Christ, but not in a I don't want to say regular, but not in the traditional sense that you would think of it. 
So I want to say that, and I'm also working on, I'm 21, and I'm working on, and well, I'm 21, and I want to say that to say that I'm working on balancing the two of um, real life and Christian and Christ. I want to kind of, I'm trying to learn how to balance it. So um, sometimes I do, sometimes I do need to work on thoroughly um, stressing that I am a believer in Christ, because sometimes it could come off as um, too much of self, like too much of like like the slogan life begins with you that I have but I want to explain it in a way that people understand that I am a believer of Christ because I have come across um actually a few people that I've kind of questioned um where I stand and I don't like that so like I said I'm twin I'm, I'm I've learned my my passion and what God has given me I've tapped into it early so um, I'm just kind of, yeah, working through the motions and just trying to thoroughly understand what God is giving me and balancing it with like thoroughly understanding what God gives me. And I'm not going to say I'm balancing it with, I, with what I have because all of it is from God. It's just in a different form. It's just in a different way. So I just kind of want to put that out there that I am learning. And I love when people come to me and ask me questions because it provokes me to make things more clear. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I just want to start off with saying that I, that, yeah, I just want to start off with saying that. And with that being said, I wanted to bring scripture to my meaning of life begins with you and thoroughly explain so that also people can understand that life does begin with you. It does. It does. It does. So, um, I'm going to be coming from the first scripture I have is second Corinthians five and 17. I have the King James version. I have the new international readers version. The King James version is therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become, are become new. That's the King James version. I have the new international readers version to help us kind of understand it a little bit more. It says when anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone and the new is here. So, when we are saved, when we are saved by God and we choose to be believers in Christ and we choose to be walk into this new life that God has for us, it says that therefore any man be in Christ or the other version when anyone lives in Christ. So I want to just talk about the fact that it starts with us to accept that we are believers in Christ. I choose to bring Jesus into my heart and save me. I choose to allow God to work on me. I choose to become this new creature. I choose to 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 let go of my old ways and to become new in Christ. I choose this. I choose these new steps for my life. I choose this. I choose this for me. And that's what I mean by life begins with you by you making that conscious decision to allow God into your life to clean you, to clean you up. I choose that, that conscious decision to choose God to come into me. Because yes, if Jesus could have it his way, Jesus wants all of us to come to him daily. Jesus wants all of us to become saved. He wants all of us to believe in him, to worship him, to, 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 you know what I'm saying? To bring other people to him. If he had it his way, that's how it would be. But because God has blessed us with free will, it's up to us to want better for ourselves. It's up to us to 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 say, OK, I want to let go of this bad habit today. I want to let go of this today. I want to let go of that today. It's up to us to make that conscious decision daily to live for God. We have free will, meaning life begins with you to make those conscious decisions daily that, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do this for Christ. No, I'm not going to go that way because I know where that's going to lead me. I'm going to go this way because I know that this is, this is, this is, you know, pure, or I know this is of God. I know that this is godly. I have to make this decision in my mind. God does not do anything for me as far as like making decisions on, no, no. And that's what I want to, that's what I mean by not the traditional way. Cause I feel like God is pushing me to let to to take out the magical portion of 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 believing in Christ. There's not there's miracles, yes, but God does not work miracles with you just sitting there just 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 not doing your part or not, you know, praying or or having that faith. Faith is what moved those men. You have to do your part. You have to. You have to. I kind of just want to take out that magical portion of God does all these things for you and you just sit there. No, where's your, where's your part of the, the, where's your end? Where's your end? 
You get what I'm saying? Life begins with you to to take those steps forward to want better for yourself and then allow God to do the rest. You do what you can in the natural and watch God do the supernatural. You have to do your part and allow God into your life to, 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 to work those miracles, but you have to do your part also. You get what I'm saying? So I just, like I said, I just kind of want to take out the whole magical that God just does all these things for you and you just sit there and you just, you just, you just chilling, you sunbathing while God is working all these miracles in your life. No, where is your end? Where is your side? Where is your portion of, of, of God? I give you, I, I sacrifice this. Where's your sacrifice? Your sacrifices, you, you fasting from those things that hinder you from getting close, you letting go of those idols that you have in your life and put God number one. Where is your end? You get what I'm saying? Life begins with you. You have to make that step forward to ask God to come into your heart. That was the other scripture I had. Romans 10, 9 and 10. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. With your heart, you believe and you are made right with God. With your mouth, you say what you believe and so you are saved. You, all of these yous, 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 you, 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 you. You have to believe. You have to say it with your mouth that 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 Jesus is, is Lord. You have to say it. God is not gonna sit here and make you do anything. Make you do anything. We have free will. We have free will. Life begins with you to make that conscious decision daily that I will be saved today. I will be a believer of Christ today. I will win souls today. I will be a light to this dying world today. I will do this for Christ because I love him. I love him. I love him. You have to you have to make these conscious decisions daily and confess yourself, believe in your heart. You get what I'm saying? And then be in, and then be intentional about your change and, and about wanting better and wanting that growth. You have to be intentional, 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 intentional. And then after being intentional, you have to be consistent. You have to be consistent daily to want God into your life daily. And in my, my journal in the beginning, I talk about that I am an overcomer of depression. Therefore, I have to daily, like, God, I, I want to live for you. God, I want to live for you. It gets that, you know, on that end of God, I want to, I want to live for you because of you, I'm still alive. And I, I, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like life begins with you to make these conscious decisions to want God into your life and to want him to, to feed you and to, and to nurture you and to be there. You know what I'm saying? To, to hold your hand every step of the way. And God is the type of God that he, you know, he's holding your hand and he's helping you and guiding you and leading you. And then once you want to venture off and do you, he's still standing there waiting, but he's going to allow you to do you. And then you have to make that decision of God. Okay. I, I, I accept you back into my life. I want, to, I want right for myself. I want to do better. Okay, God, I want to let go of those habits again. Cause some, you know, sometimes it's going to be an again and again and again and again, you know what I'm saying? But God, I accept you into my life again to, to help me grow and to, and to nurture, to nurture me and to care for me and to love on me. I accept you into my heart to do that. You get what I'm saying? Like, yes, of course, he loves all of us naturally. He does. He loves every single last one of us. We didn't have to do anything for his love. He loves us. Yes, he loves us just to love us, just to be there for us. But in order to see these miracles, in order to see that change in our heart, in order to see that that those bad habits go away, we have to do things on our end. And I feel like also with with believing in Christ and 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 traditional Christians, well, I don't want to, let me, let me think about, like, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say that like that, but like, I don't know. I'm trying to eat, like incorporate accountability in, into this a little bit. Um, sorry. I'm trying to, trying to word it the best way I, I can. Um, I don't want to say that Christians lack accountability. That's not what I'm saying at all. That's not what I'm saying. I don't want to say traditional Christians lack accountability. That's not what I'm saying, but like, we just have to learn to know that, okay, this is a bad habit that I have and I want to let it go. Like, like I see some, like, okay, how people like, okay, how the churches can kind of stray away people with like, um, you know, still having gossip in church or still having, um, 
you know, like little things like that. Like we, you know, like take that accountability to say that this is a bad habit that I want to shake. You know what I mean? Like believing in God and accepting, like that's not the last step of just saying like, okay, yeah, I believe in God and that's it. You know, it's just, it's daily that we have to be consistent with ourselves with wanting better and wanting to grow and wanting to elevate and get to the next level in Christ, get into the, get to the next level in life, get to the next level within yourself, like get to that next level to grow. You know what I'm saying? And that begins with you making these, these conscious decisions that I want to grow daily. Okay. I'm going to let go of that. I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to, I want to grow. I want better for me. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's, that's just what I mean by life begins with you. Life begins with you. And then to tie into, um, like my book name is Yukio and it means living in the moment or living in a floating world. And I want to also address that too, of like living in the moment of life. Like my, the emphasis is on that life is timed. Life is timed. We don't have time to sit here and just allow life to just pass us by. Cause it's going to be over before we know it. Like literally. So that goes into the life begins with you to live for yourself every single day. Like, like if you want to travel, travel. If you want to, if you want to start a food pantry, start a food pantry. If you want to start a neighborhood, a neighborhood refrigerator, do that. If you want to go, something's telling you to go knock on your neighbor's door and go give them a basket of food, do that. Like live in the moment, just do it. You know what I'm saying? Of course, this is for this is this ties into what I believe in of Christ of of Christ and living right and doing right. It's not just living for yourself freely. No, it ties all together. It's not just what it is alone. It's all of it together. So, you know what I'm saying? Like living for yourself and and being able to today, you know what? I want to I'm going to get $100 out the out the bank and whoever God lays on my heart to give it to, I'm going to give it. That's living in the moment. That's doing things spontaneously just because it's in your heart to do it. That's what I mean by living in the moment. Just why not? Why not? Why not? Why not today go get a whole bunch of food and go pass it out into a neighborhood that God lays on my heart? Why not? We have ticking. We have a time ticking on our lives. Why not start today? Why not? You know what I'm saying? You'll be in the same place next year if you keep waiting on whatever you're waiting on live in today live in this moment and live your life to the fullest to the fullest you know what i'm saying we never know when that time is up but we don't want to be you know what i'm saying just just wasted you know what i'm saying and then as far as the floating world that's a mindset like i said i went through depression so every day i have to acknowledge that okay these are my thoughts these are my feelings these are my emotions and and this is my this is my life this is my it's more of like a mindset of this is mine. Like this is this is my life. This is my emotions. These are my feelings. These are this is me. You know what I'm saying? Like a floating world is in this is uh this is my my vicinity, my world. And not saying that it's in a selfish way of like this is just me. Like this is my world. Nobody's in it. No. I, it's more of like a mental headspace and you're giving like of course you still love on others. You give to others, you do for others, but it's more of that accountability of this is this is this is this is me. Like, this is like, uh, maybe I should like, I don't know. I'm trying to explain it to the fullest without, I don't know. Like I'm better at writing, like thoroughly thinking of what I want to say, writing it down and reading it. But I kind of just, I don't know. I want to just talk about it freely, like as it's on my head. So just bear with me. I'm trying to explain, but because I still don't even fully have my definition. I just know what it means to me of being in my own headspace and like you know like how when you listen to music and you're in your own you're in your own groove it's you and you like you're listening to music and you're like yes like uh like I'm here that's what I mean by by a floating world it's like you're in your own your own space you're in your own vicinity and it's not in a indefinite way of this is what it is for life like you don't give to others you're in your own space you're in your own world no it's not in a selfish way it's more of like in a in a way of like that healthy selfishness like that selfishness that we all need to an extent of boundaries you know like we all have to have I don't want to uh I feel like I'm everywhere and I hope everybody's following me but I'm really trying to explain this thoroughly because I want everybody to not only just understand, but apply it to life that, that this, like life is our own. It's ours. We can only be accountable for what we do. 
we cannot base anything off the next person. Like, no, that's not how this works. When we stand before God, we can only account for our own personal life. So that's what I mean, that selfishness to an extent, because it's like at the end of the day, my like what my actions, my reactions, what I do with my life is the only thing that truly, 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 truly matters because that's the only thing God is going to account for. That's all, the only thing he's going to talk about is what I did, what I did, my actions, my reactions, my, you know what I'm saying, what I did. So just that portion of floating world is just like your mental headspace of like, okay, did I, did I, did I breathe today? Did I pray today? What did I do for myself today? You know what I'm saying? That place of self that is, that is healthy though, that, that healthy self, you know what I'm saying? It's more of a mental headspace. And I say floating. I like the word Yukio meaning floating world. I liked it because it's like, nobody can it's not attached to anything it's just it's just mine floating like it's not attached to anything else but 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 nothing like it's not attached like it's just it's mine you get what i'm saying that part not in a way of anything extra just just purely that of my thoughts my emotions my feelings the things that i have to account for my actions my reactions they're not attached to anything they're mine those are the things that i have to account for at the end of this life is what i did with with my life you get what I'm saying? I hope I explained that the best way I could, but just back to the life begins with you. We all have life. We all have to account for ourselves. Life begins with you. Do you want to get rid of bad habits today? Do you want to grow today? Do you want to live for God today? Do you want to live for Christ today? Do you want to live? Do you want to give today? What do you want to do with, what do you want to do today? Life begins with you. Every single day, we have to make the conscious decision to live for Christ and to, to bring people closer to him every single day. Like, I want to get out the get out that magical, the magic that, that these miracles just happen and you just become this changed person. No, it's not how it works. You have to put in the work on your end to want better for yourself. So, yeah, I hope I, well, I'm not going to say I hope I, I explain. I, this is my explanation of life begins with you. And it does. So I'm going to read my scriptures again that I have. It's 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, old, all things are become new. And then my next script, my other scripture is Romans 10, 9 and 10. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. With your heart, with your heart you believe and you are made right with God. With your mouth, you say what you believe, and so you are saved. So yeah, these are my scriptures. This is this episode this morning, and I pray that everyone listening this morning received something from this episode. I pray that God was able to speak through me to bless your week ahead or your entire life if you never hear me again. God bless you. I pray that you soak in self-love and awareness and make today a great day and make today better than yesterday. And don't forget that our interactive planners and journals are now available for pre-order on www.ventbreak.com. Please grab one, please. I'm so happy and I thank God for this opportunity. I really do. And I, you know, I ask that everybody please support Vent Break and support yourself by purchasing a book. And also, don't forget our episodes are now available on YouTube. Just search Vent Break, V-E-N-T-B-R-E-A-K, and follow Vent Break on Instagram for a spiritual vitamin. Thank you.